like you look at a guy like Dan Kelly, who's a plus five over the last three games. Uh, what are you just seeing out of out of him right now? It's pretty simple. He's he's a competitor, and he always has been. He's slowly improved and developed every year. I mean, he's he's a meat and potatoes type guy. I mean, you know the. The, those points are just a bonus, but I think his energy, his effort, his grit, um, and what he brings to the rink, not only in games, but in practice, is something that's contagious. He's a leader in that room. Um, you know, and we've, we've asked our D to get a little more involved, um, and, he, and he has done that. Again, they've got to be smart about it, but, you know, again, Dano should be a plus player. Uh, with that being said, he usually plays against the top guys every night, so it's not an easy task. But uh, he's hard to play against, and, and that's really what makes him, uh, you know, an important guy for us. You've been with him for the past four years here. Is this the most uh, confident you've seen him? Yeah, I think it's just been a, a yearly progression, but no question. And, um, you know, it, I think it's just a maturity thing for him. I think he's understood how to be a little more patient with the puck and realize that you don't always have to, you know, get rid of it right away. And I think that's just part of the development and part of the maturation process where he uh, it just gets more confident with the puck. And, you know, when things are going well for you, uh, you know, whether it's a, a goal or an assist or a plus night, you feel you feel good good about yourself. So I think it's um, he's come along nicely. And like I said, he's a major part of our decor. You uh, a few weeks ago put an A on his chest when you needed uh, an alternate captain with Mike Sissel being out. And for a guy who's been around, you talked about his leadership. Was that, uh, was that a no-brainer? Yeah, no-brainer. He was certainly a guy that's considered... Uh, was considered uh, at the beginning of the year in the group, but there's only three letters, and um, he's a guy that uh, he doesn't need. You know, he's even going back to his first year. I mean, he's a guy that was a leader in junior, and he, he's a, he's more of a lead by example uh, on the ice, even though he is very talkative, sometimes too much in that dressing room. But uh, you know, he plays hard in in every day, and that's that's what you want. It, it, it makes life as a coach easy it's a lot easier to pull guys back and say listen you're a little too aggressive or tone it down a notch than it is to try and push guys and Daniel's a prime example of that